Okay, today we're going to be doing an elbow x-ray. The routine views for elbow are going to be an AP, an external oblique, and a lateral. So first off, we want to have the patient come in seated at the end of the table with the legs out to the side because of radiation safety issues. We'll place a shield across the uh, patient. We do want to have the table raised so that we can have everything in the same plane from the shoulder down. So we're going to have the patient put their arm up here for me, palm up. We're going to have a 10 by 12 film size. Technical factors for this are going to be 55 kV at 8 mass. Okay, we're going to center the patient the best we can to the center of the film. We want to palpate the epicondyles, verifying that they are parallel to the IR, telling us it's an AP position. Our centering point for this, the centering point for this will be at the mid elbow joint. We do want to have four sided collimation. Marker placement will be in the light field, but not obstructing in pertinent anatomy. And this will be our AP position of the elbow, and now we will make exposure. Our next view is going to be the external oblique view. We're going to have the patient to rotate their arm laterally, approximately 45 degrees. Trying to again keep everything in the center of the film. This, this view will best demonstrate the radial head and neck and tuberosity free from superimposition. Just trying to get the film and everything centered. Again, we want to make sure that the marker placement is not obstructing any pertinent anatomy. Sometimes you may have to have the patient to actually rotate a little bit more to get the 45 degree oblique. Technical factors stay the same, 55 kV at 8 mass. This is the external oblique elbow. We also can do a medial oblique elbow where we turn the hand until the palm is down. Again, staying in the center of the film. This is a medial or internal oblique elbow. Now, this view will best demonstrate the coronoid process and the trochlea in profile. Technical factors remain the same. 8 mass at 55 kV. Now we're going to do the lateral elbow. We're going to have the patient to flex the elbow 90 degrees. Have them to turn the thumb until it is up. Film size, we're going to just rotate the film this way. Again, we're going to center to the film uh, vertically and horizontally here. Centering point is going to be about between oh, the uh, centering point between the uh, elbow here uh, and the internal elbow. Okay. Want to make sure that we include uh, the entire joint and a couple inches of the forearm and of the humerus. This will put the olecranon uh, in profile. It will also show the fat pads. Uh, we also tell you on this view here, when you look at the, you view the image itself, it will show the three concentric arcs which is an indication that it is in a good true lateral. Want to make sure our marker placement again, not obscuring any pertinent anatomy in the life field. Technical factors change a little bit. The actual technique goes down a little bit for this. It goes to 52 kV at 8 mass. The reason behind this is the technique, because there is, looking at this area here, if we increase the technique or leave it the same, it does tend to turn, it does tend to burn out the olecranon process. This is our elbow view, our lateral elbow view, and this is our elbow views 